How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today I'm going to show you how to sign any document on your iPhone. Not only a PDF document you got, for example, on your email, but also on WhatsApp, on your messages, maybe something you downloaded from the web or something that's on your files app. No matter where the document is, it's super simple to sign any document on your iPhone. Let me show you. So we're going to use this PDF sample document right here. And I have to let you know that there are actually two different ways we can sign documents on the iPhone. The first one being the native Apple way. Super integrated. We don't need to download anything. It's already right here in front of you. But there are some problems. It's actually like drawing right here on the document. So it's very obvious that you're drawing with your finger. So the signature won't be really good looking and won't be nice. And the person receiving the document will know you just drew on the screen. OK, and there's actually the second method which requires an app. But of course, it's 100 percent free. But that one is perfect. It's absolutely perfect. It seems like you downloaded the document, signed it, scanned and sent back to the person. It's that perfect. And I'm going to show you both in this video. Let's get started. You're going to love it. So first, the Apple native process. So all you have to do is pretty much open the document, open the PDF from any app, not only the mail app, but anywhere, and then look for this symbol, which is the markup symbol. Tap on it and then you're going to see this plus button right here. Tap on it once again and then we have add signature. Tap here and then we can easily create a signature. And as I said, you're going to actually draw on the screen right here. So that's the way it works. So, for example, let's go for Daniel and it looks really obvious, right? That that's me writing down and drawing with my finger. So we're going to go ahead and tap, for example, on new signature and then we can actually choose how we want to call it the label. So, for example, is it my full name, my given name, family, nickname, initials, custom label. So then you can name it whatever you want. So I'm going to say like uh, given name, right? And then that's it. I'm going to tap on done right here and then it's going to already add to my document. I'm going to go ahead here and resize it a little bit just to make it a little bit better. And right here, we can choose how thick the lines are going to be the line itself. Right. So you can choose that and even the color. All right. So it's pretty good. It works. But as I said, it's not perfect. Right. So it's right here. Of course, you can add multiple signatures. You can do whatever you want. And then after you're done, you can go ahead and tap on done. You can tap on new message. So it's going to create a new mail with this attachment or even you can save your files. If you don't want to send to anybody else, you just want for yourself so you can save to the files app. All right. On top of that, you even have the option to tap again in markup and then share anywhere else. So tap here on the share button and then you can share anywhere to any application like WhatsApp anywhere. So you can just easily share however you want. So that's how you sign the Apple way, the native way. And as I said, it's the exact same thing. If you want to sign a document that you got from WhatsApp, for example, tap on it. You got here the document, same interface, same markup signature is going to be right here. So add signature. It's here because on this first method, the signature is not only saved to your iPhone, but to iCloud. So if you actually want to use this signature on your Mac, on your iPad, it works. All right. So that's one big advantage. So that's method number one. Now, how about if you want a proper signature, if you want somebody thinking that you actually signed the document? Well, we need to get an app for that. So let's go to the app store. Then we're going to go to search, tap on search, and then we're going to go for Adobe. That's right. It's from Adobe. So we all know it. So we all can trust it. Adobe fill and sign. I'm going to have a direct link to this app in the description down below. Tap on it. You're going to come straight to this page right here. OK, so it's a free app and there aren't even in-app purchases. It's completely free. OK, I love it. So download it. It's super small. It's going to download like instantly, as you can see. And that's how it looks like. As you can see, tap on it and then you're already in. Let me show you how it works. Uh, of course, you can sign in. So then you're going to sync your signatures between your devices as well. But it don't want but it don't need that if you don't want to 
Okay, so maybe later, and let me show you in action. I'm gonna use this sample form, which is the sample form we've used in this video, okay? And then, as you can see right here, we have a dedicated sign button, tap here on sign, create signature and we have a few options it goes to landscape mode so you can go ahead and draw but that's not the point right what we want is actually camera so then we're gonna scan so let me allow you're gonna scan a signature and actually make it digital so i have here my signature which isn't my signature of course it's just my name so as you can see right here and what we're gonna do is just take a photo of the signature okay perfectly like that very close very sharp photo as you can see it's a very sharp photo right here you were seeing some shadows but it was just re the reflection of the screen that's what you need on a plain white paper with no details it has to be like that perfect okay so let's go ahead here and tap on use photo and then it's gonna go landscape once again for some reason and then what you have to do is select your signature as close as possible okay so make it perfectly close no details nothing just super super close right like that just to make sure it gets perfectly and then tap on done and take a look at this perfect signature got the details from the ink from the pen it's perfect and let me show you how it looks so if you tap on done it's already gonna add to the document and then all you have to do, of course, is readjust, put it right here, make it a little bit smaller if you want to, and then take a look at this. As you can see, no one is gonna tell that you actually use a digital signature. It looks perfect, right? So that's it. And then the process is exactly the same. Tap on share, and then you can share anywhere. You can export, you can save your files, you can send anywhere and you're done okay done great and of course you need to import the document first to the app right this is the sample document but if you're using a document you need to import and my recommendation of course is to use the files app so tap here on this first option and then file browser that's how they call it and then that's your files app so then you can pick any document from here add to adobe sign it and then share it all free all perfect now we know how to perfectly sign any document on your iphone for free if you don't really know how to add the documents to the files app how to use the files app i super recommend that you take a look at this video right here link in the description take a look i teach you how to use the files app one of the most important applications on the iphone not just for the process but for many many things okay so take a look at that video too that's it thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye, guys.